This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need the chair is pretty far away from the desk. But I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. Some IT documents, nothing useful. Gunshot, the bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Blood got all over the wall here, but where did the bolt? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... I... You didn't do anything. Dennis was already dead when you arrived. Can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're right. I can see it. I have a complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. 
blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and D. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter and that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password.
That's not it. I have to keep looking. That's not it. I have to keep looking. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. That's not it. I have to keep looking. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. Locked. I need the password. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late.
The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. Valid question. Still not sure. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. If I had the code, I could get in here. Good guess, just not the right one. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? Get in here. It was a good guess, just not the right one.
Doug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. Did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, is listen he... to me. 